The Mandarin Handicap Chase is the second race of the week, the first race of the week of the big obstacles. And it's not to 1.30 this time. And it's over three and a quarter miles. Bridge Paul is at the top. And Darren Thompson, Knight Escapade, John Morgan, Grudge Belt, James Shea, si Sizzling Town, he did it again, Paul Parsons, Magic Word, Craig Beckwith, Silent Voices, Graham Clitterbuck, San Pedro, Paddy Vinnie, Gerard, The Go Between, Martin Little, Lady Sharona, Alex Cherry, Philly Eagle, Matt Cooper, Tobinier Carpet for Derek Hinton, Cord Jonathan, Alex Cherry, Darsage Strange for James Shea, and Linda McMahon for Matt Cooper. In field of 14, then, in the opening chase of the week, they're away and racing the Rain tumbling down at Newbury and Bridge Pool is the first one to show, but immediately collared by Linda McMahon as they get to the first, which is a ditch. And they all safely got over that one with Grudge Belt, just the early back mark, but they're making their way towards the second of the 20. And Linda McMahon and Bridge Pool have opened up by a good four lengths already to the go between and Lady Sharona are sharing third as they get over the second. The field is pretty tightly grouped with the exception of that leading pair and their matching strides five lengths clear of the rest of them. Bridge Paul on the inside in the white sleeves with the red jacketed Linda McMahon on the outside as they get over to third. The mistake there was by the go-between and the field is so closely grouped that that one mistake has dropped him right back to last. But it's Linda McMahon who's just about the leader from Bridge Paul as they get to fence four. I'm dropping that one okay. With the second Matt Cooper horse, Philly Eagle, now moving into third. Then comes Cord Jonathan in fourth. On the inside, San Pedro Paddy is probably just about fifth. Looking towards the back, it's Sizzling Tail, who's now the back marker. And he's probably only about six or seven lengths off third. The leading pair, Bridge Paul and Linda McMahon. Pulling along together in the lead. Complete this run to the fifth. And he could jump by Philly Eagle in third. Also, the horse in pale blue, not Escapade. Or well, John Morgan, who took the opener with Teal Beat. Jumped really well there, has now jumped up into fifth. Darcy Strange on the outside. The go between has made up the ground after that mistake. Also, making up a lot of ground is Sizzling Tail in the pale jacket. Who's moved right through from the back. The back marker there is just magic word. The leaders are at the sixth. And the order is pretty much the same. Linda McMahon and Bridge Paul disputing the lead with Philly Eagle a clear third net. A gap of a couple of lengths then back to the go between Darcy Strange and Cord Jonathan as they get to number seven, which is another ditch. And they're all safely over that one with Grudge Belt and Magic Word the back two. Silent Voice is also towards the back as they make their way towards fence number eight. Of the 20, they've got to take in this one. Once again, I'll jump that nicely with Linda McMahon, the leader by possibly as much as a length. If you want to tell from the angle, Bridge Paul on the inside is second. This is fence number nine. And they're all over that one. Okay, the first of James Chase horses darted strange was a little slow over it, but nothing to be particularly alarmed about. Linda McMahon and Bridge Paul. Philly Eagle third night escapade fourth as they take the water in front of the big screen past the winning post and they head out on a final circuit of the track with Linda McMahon on the outside leading by about three quarters of a length to Bridge Paul in second three length gap then back to Philly Eagle in third Night Escape is fourth and then comes size, size, <laughs> Sizzling Tail get it right one week San Pedro Paddy is next then Tobinier Carpet and the go between with Corn Jonathan and Darcy Strange they get to number 11, which they all got over okay as well. Magic word, just the back marker at this point. But Linda McMahon's gone on now. Clear by two and a half to Bridge Paul, who's got a two length advantage over Philly Eagle. This is another ditch number 12. And again, they all jumped it nicely. They move into the final mile and a quarter shortly, and they'll start to begin to race in earnest. Before too long, this is number 13 of the 20, and now the pack are beginning to close. As Linda McMahon continues to lead, though, by two from Bridge Paul, then Knight Escapade and Philly Eagle, who are now almost alongside Bridge Paul. Behind them, San Pedro Paddy and Tobinier Carpet, Cool Jonathan the Go Between and Sizzling Tail. And just after that, there's a fall at the back there, Silent Voices is gone. So, Silent Voices, the first one to depart the race. 
Can I say? Head down towards the next and approach the final mile. Linda McMahon and Bridgepool still one and two. Bridgepool out jumped. Linda McMahon there has now gone back into the lead. Philly Eagle moved up on the outside. Wider still night escapade coming through with a run. There's about seven or eight of them there in a group who are no more than three lengths apart. And Bridgepool and Linda McMahon still just about disputing the lead as they begin to take this turn with seven furlongs still to go. They should take a cross fence and then move into the straight. And it's Linda McMahon in the lead from Bridge Paul in second. Philly Eagle is third. San Pedro Paddy up the inside is in fourth. Then Night Escapade. The go between is trying to come around the outside. Toba near carpet and core. Jonathan's still there. Darcy Strange looks to be cruising into the race on the outside as they take this 16th. And there, it was another mistake by the go between, but it's Linda McMahon who's still too clear. Toba near carpet now takes a turn in second. San Pedro Paddy on the inside as they take the turn in for home and the final four fences. And it's Linda McMahon, the go between the first one to make a serious attempt to challenge for the lead on the outside is coming through to challenge Linda McMahon on the go between Ridge Paul back in third then comes San Pedro Paddy and Philly Eagle Darcy and Strange over the fourth last and the go between has gone too clear the go between then from Linda McMahon back in second then comes Darcy and Strange and Philly Eagle they've still got three to get over this is the final ditch and the go between took it slowly from Linda McMahon in second Magic Word has come through from the back into third then comes San Pedro Paddy and Night Escapade Philly Eagle and Sizzling Tell trying to run on, but the go-between is five or six clear with two to jump. The go-between comes into the second last, not been jumping well, has fallen, the lead is down, and Magic Word has now gone into the lead. Magic Word's gone on from San Pedro Paddy in second, Night Escapade is in third, they're coming down to the last end now, and it's going to be Magic Word and San Pedro Paddy, San Pedro Paddy jumps in better, but on the near side, Night Escapade is beginning to get up, they're running into the final far off, it's San Pedro Paddy and Night Escapade, Magic Word between the two of them, San Pedro Paddy looking the stronger now, Night Escapade and Magic Word trying to lunge, but it's got to be San Pedro Paddy that's going to take the Mandarin. And up towards the line, San Pedro Paddy wins it. Close for second, Night Escapade, Magic Word, Philly Eagle, Grudge Belt, then Lady Sharona. And all the way back to Toba near Carpet. Would the go between have stayed on if he'd stayed on his feet? Looked like he was tying up to me, so I don't think he would have won anyway. But a crashing fall at the second last changed the complexion of the race. And San Pedro Paddy takes it for Vinnie Gerard, Night Escapade, John Morgan second, Magic Word, Craig Beck with third, Philly Eagle, Matt Cooper fourth, and Grudge Belt for James Shea, what's fifth?